Good afternoon. We'll pray the Regina Chaley. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Queen of Heaven rejoice. Alleluia. For him you chose to bear. Alleluia. Is risen as he said. Alleluia. Pray for us to God. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord, you are pleased to make glad the whole world. Grant, we beseech you, that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may attain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll sing two verses of Love Divine, All Loves Excelling. Love divine, all loves excelling, joy of heaven to earth come down. Fix in us your humble dwelling, all your faithful mercies crown. Jesus, you are all compassion, boundless love that makes us whole. Visit us with your salvation, enter every trembling soul. Come, Almighty, to deliver, let us all your grace receive. Suddenly return and never, never more your temple leave you we would be always blessing serve you as your host above pray and praise you without ceasing glory in your perfect love in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My sisters, my brothers, on this uh, sun-filled day, uh, we thank God for the gift of life, the gift of Easter life, of baptism, of God's faithful love. We pray that our lives will be marked by that same faithfulness. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. <clears throat> You raise the dead to life in the spirit, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You are pardon and peace for sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are light in our darkness, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty and eternal God, who through the regenerating power of baptism have been pleased to confer on us heavenly life, grant, we pray, that those you render capable of immortality by justifying them may by your guidance attain the fullness of glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul left Antioch, taking with him Silas, and went on to Derbe in Lystra, where there was a disciple named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. He was well spoken of by the believers in Lystra and Iconium. Paul wanted Timothy to accompany him, and he took him and had him circumcised because of the Jews who were in those places, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they went from town to town, they delivered to them for observance the decisions 
that had been reached by the apostles and elders who were in Jerusalem. So the churches were strengthened in faith and increased in numbers daily. They went through the region of Phrygia and Galatia, having been forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word in Asia. When they had come opposite Mysia, they attempted to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. So, passing by Mysia, they went down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision. There stood a man of Macedonia pleading with him and saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we immediately tried to cross over to Macedonia, being convinced that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all, all the, the earth, earth cry out to God, God with joy. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Let, Let all, all the earth, earth cry out to God with joy. joy. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Let all, all the earth cry out to God with joy. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Let all, all the earth, earth cry out to God with joy. joy. If you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Before the hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father, Jesus said to the disciples, If the world hates you, be aware that it hated me before it hated you. If you belong to the world, the world would love you as its own. Because you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I have said to you, Servants are not greater than their master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know him who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My sisters and brothers, that reading from the Acts is so crucial. Paul has a vision of a man in Macedonia saying, come to Macedonia, come to Europe. Think of what a historical moment that is. Think of Jesus in his early life, in his little commission, go nowhere among the Gentiles. And now we have Paul going to a different continent. Yes, of course, Jesus said, 
go to the ends of the earth. But he himself did not take that message. By the grace of God, Paul did. And perhaps today it's a good day to reflect on the grace of God. Um, in our opening prayer of the Mass, <clears throat> we pray to God that those he has rendered capable of immortality by justifying uh, may by God's guidance attain the fullness of glory. I think Catholics don't spend a lot of time thinking about justification. I'll include, I hope, in the comments of this mass, uh, this video, that uh, the Catechism points out, I believe it's number 1995. We can all remember 1995, right? My deacon year. Good. Now I'll remember that. Um, but I think we think of justification as some price has been paid. Someone's been justified, the accounts have been balanced. But really the catechism points out that uh, that is still God asking, our, looking for our cooperation. If you think about it, uh, we can always say no. Tragically, so many times we do. But God offers that, um, that we can act in a God-like way saying yes to grace. Also, I want to point out uh, the steadfast love referred to in the psalm. If you're watching the news, thanks be to God, there's so much good news coming now. Did you hear that the uh, that poor uh, nursing home in Bob Cajun has been declared free of the coronavirus after losing 29 residents? At one point, someone wondered whether everyone there would die. And now, thanks be to God, they are virus free. So we pray that uh, that will be an important sign and that one day all our, all our world will be able to celebrate that same uh, reality. Uh, but in, in New York, in the Bronx, I think, or Brooklyn, I forget which of the boroughs, one of them has a particularly large Hasidic Orthodox Jewish population. And there, faithful people at weddings and funerals still gathered in huge numbers and it became a devastation. It went through that community and killed so many and infected so many more. Now, of course, given time, uh, by the grace of God, most people seem to recover from the coronavirus. And now this uh, community has become a leader in blood donations. I didn't know that uh, people suffering from COVID-19 need an incredible amount of blood, apparently. And so this community, with their antibodies in their blood, have now become a source of healing and strength for so many. It was interesting to hear, I mean, there was a whole kind of montage of all the different religious leaders, community leaders, talking. And a number of them referred to the Hesed, the God's faithful love um, that brings people through illness and even in death uh, brings us through. So we pray that uh, we will experience that faithful love, not just of God's healing, but us in turn becoming healing, healers of others. Um, the Psalms, the, the prayers of God's people are still being lived out today. We join in the prayers of the faithful. We pray for the church throughout the world, for our Holy Father, the Pope, for all bishops, for all who lead us, and that the church will rely on the steadfast love of God and be a better witness to that love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear all our prayers. We pray for all communities that have been ravaged by the disease, for the Hasidic in uh, New York, for the uh, suffering folks in Bob Cajun, that our communities will be strengthened and purified uh, by the grace of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For greater appreciation of the gift of salvation in Christ, 
uh, justification uh, for the life offered to all the baptized, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions each one of us brings to this Mass, especially for the intentions of my mother, Shirley George, in her convalescence. For God's continued gifts of healing and health and happiness in all our lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, especially all those preparing for uh, surgeries and procedures now with the lifting of the epidemic observances. That through uh, God's inspiration, many will receive the gift of health from doctors and nurses. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died. God will give all the faithful departed eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for your faithful love that triumphs over our sin and brokenness, for calling us to cooperate with your great grace. Uh, make us partners in the salvation of the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters, my brothers, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands to the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all the Holy Church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death. And in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. 
together with your servant Francis, our Pope, Ronald, our Bishop, Joseph, his auxiliary, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, all the residents of long-term care, uh, Shirley George, our first responders, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise that they offered for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. With eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, as Almighty Father, Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. Once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Claim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection till you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, and especially those residents of the Bob Cajun nursing home who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. 
To us also, your servants, who, those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of God's peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Go in peace. Thanks be to God. We'll sing the last verse of Love Divine, All Love's Excelling. Finish then your new creation, pure and sinless, let us be. Let us see your great salvation, perfect in eternity. Change from glory into glory, till in heaven we take our place. Let him cast our crowns before you, lost in wonder, love, and praise. <laughs>